Hi and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a rug out of fabric braids. It's a great project uh, to get rid of some fabrics. Maybe your stash is ever growing like mine and maybe you have some fabrics that you don't really know what else to make with because the quality isn't so great or whatever else, you know, you can use it pretty much anything in this project. You make braids out of fabric at first. Um, as you see, uh, uh, you go, uh, you know, strip by strip and add on as you go, because if the strips are too long, you're not going to be able to braid. These are my strips. They're about four to six inches in width. It depends on how thick your fabric is or how thick you want your braids to be. Um, and then you braid. You always make sure you fold under the rough edges while you're braiding. So one side is going to look really nice, like mine here. If you turn it around, you see all the fraying edges, but you're not going to see that in the end product. So just make sure one side is really nice. Um, so you just keep going with the braiding. You keep adding on. And uh, when you have a bunch done, you can start sewing them. You need another uh, piece of fabric. I used an old towel, which uh, worked really well. And you sew the braids to that towel or whatever else you're using. I always attached the outside of the braid first with basically running stitches. I'm using a really strong needle, very pointy, and a very sturdy yarn. It's probably, uh, it's, it's, a, it's something vintage that I have. Um, so I don't really know what it is, but it's something like you would make, use to make shoes or, or bags with. So it, it's um, perfect for this project. So now here I'm showing you the running stitches that you're using. They're not going to win a beauty prize, definitely not in my case anyway. Um, but they do the job and uh, you're not going to see them in the end anymore either. So just go quite under the braid or at the edge of the braid, you know, you make one stitch into the towel and then you take up some fabric of the braid. Um, this is also a good point to, to, again, get rid of some fraying edges if they're, if they're showing up, you know, you can manipulate the braid a little bit here. And you just keep doing that, it really doesn't take very long, even though it's all hand stitched, it's not really that bad, because you can move fast, you don't have to be very precise. So that's how you attach the outside of the braid. Then you go to the inside, which uh, I have a thread waiting here for me, see? And I'm attaching the inside of the braid to the outside of, of the adjoining braid. Focus is coming back, here it is. So you sew these two sides together. Uh, you just continue doing that. In the very end, I make my strips get narrower um, so that the, the braid gets smaller and smaller and kind of blends in at the, at the very end. It's not an abrupt ending. At the, at the very last round of attaching your braid, you include a bias tape or, you know, you cut fabric on the bias, which means diagonal to the grain line so that it's elastic. And you include that in your last round. Then as you see, I cut back the towel. This is the back side of my, of my rug. You fold the bias tape to, to the other side, like so. And then once again, you have to pin it first to make sure it's lying nice and flat, like so. And then look on the other side, look at the, the, that it's, that everything is okay. And you're attaching that. You have to do that by hand again, most likely, because for a machine, it's a, a bit too thick. Um, again, you use uh, very simple stitches here. Doesn't take very long. I am usually faster if I'm not, you know, if I don't have the camera in my way. I don't usually switch hands, but I had to because the camera was was in my way. So that's really all I do here. Make sure you pull the bias tape so it's lying 
nice and flat around the edge of your rug and it creates a nice smooth finish. I'm pulling it just a tiny little bit as you see here and then sometimes I have to backstitch just a tiny little bit because we have a round edge to make sure we don't get wrinkles that we don't want. So you just continue doing that. I'm not even taking out the pins as I go, uh, but of course you could. So this is what our rug looks like now. I now finally got rid of all the loose ends that I had on the back side. And all I did was one last round of running stitches to make sure the edge lies flat. And I'm done with my little rug. It's uh, great because I can wash it. It's washable. Um, it forgives little stains if ever they should happen. So here you see it in my bathroom. My bathroom is really small. It's very difficult to take pictures, but uh, it's a perfect color match. If you would like to see some more pictures um, of this how-to, I would love to have you come over to my blog of Dreams and It Seems. And um, there you can also see what else I'm up to. Bye-bye.